Hi and welcome back budding biologists. In this clip I'll be addressing the syllabus dot point of evaluate the impact of scientific knowledge on the manipulation of plant and animal reproduction in agriculture. The increasing in and proliferation of scientific knowledge has led to a huge advancement in agriculture, enabling process to become more efficient and productive. By understanding the fundamental principles of reproduction, we have been able to manipulate them in order to produce desired outcomes. Agriculture is concerned with cultivating the land, raising crops, feeding and breeding and raising livestock. Due to the ever-growing population of humans on earth, um, the increased demands on agricultural production has occurred. Some of the ways to increase this production is through plant modification through reproduction and animal reproduction. However, the use of scientific understanding needs to be considered in the context of both sustainability and ethics. The first type we're going to look at is selective breeding. Selective breeding is based on the understanding that phenotypic traits are hereditary, so farmers selectively make plants with their desirable traits. This practice influences crossbreeding and pure breeding practices to create the desired outcome. Many of the current breeds used in agriculture have been produced through this process of selective breeding. For example, the original Brasilla plant, people have selected for certain traits to create different types of food that we eat. Um, it's shown in the bottom right. It can be cauliflower, broccoli, kale, depending on um, selecting breeding factor has been used. Another example is dairy cows being selected to produce more milk. Um, some of the advantages of selective breeding is it produces animals and plants with specific desirable traits, but the disadvantages is it decreases variation within the population and increases the chances of harmful recessive traits being expressed in the population. The next type of um, reproductive technique we're going to look at is artificial insemination. So this method um, uses the process of detecting when a female is in heat, we're ready to ovulate, collecting um, the desired semen from the specified male and the use of insemination um, through an insemination gun to shoot the semen into the cervix of the female. The advantages of artificial insemination is that timing, you can maximise fertility, we can pass on favourable traits from the desired father to the offspring or mother to the offspring, and ensuring a successful pregnancy increases yields, so having safe um, conception, and it minimises disease control, so you can select for the right genes. But the disadvantages again, it limits breeding um, on season timing, um, it requires trained personnel, and it can sometimes result in the overuse of size, which are the breeding males. Artificial pollination is our first plant example that we're going to look at, and the method includes collecting the pollen from the stamen of one plant and being applied to the stigma of another. The pollen fertilizes the ovum, so it's choosing which plant will be fertilized by what pollen. The benefits is it can result in crossbreeding of favourable traits, it can result in self-pollination, which means that we can create genetically similar offspring, it can ensure the successful pollination of all plants resulting in high crop yields. Again, the disadvantages, it decreases the genetic variety because we're selecting from a very small gene pool, and it can breed in recessive genes again. Our last type is genetic engineering, and we're going to look at this in far more detail in Module 6. The understanding of genetic techniques, specifically that of gene cloning and transgenics, um, and it allows us to introduce desired traits from actually other organisms. Um, so for example, we could have um, biotech cotton, which has insect resistance, or increased nutritional value for golden rice, or frost resistant from straw for strawberries. The advantages and disadvantages are a little bit more extensive. So pros, we can have things like a faster growth rate, benefits to human health, 
um, can treat a genetic disorder, pest resistance, increased lifespan. Uh, it's a bit more creative in terms of its new possibilities. However, the cons, um, it can be sometimes risky, unfavorable for diversity, have negative side effects, unintended results. And two species, when crossed, have um, undesirable consequences. From this clip, you should be able to describe the different types of scientific knowledge on the manipulation of plant and animal reproduction. You should be able to explain the advantages and disadvantages of these techniques and evaluate the impact of these techniques on agriculture. Include concepts around gene flow, sustainability and ethics. To dig deeper, investigate some of the examples presented from this clip to add more specific inf information to your evaluation. See you next time, budding biologist.